Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Co45 Show. Today is Monday. I have a day off. Gotta know I do work. So just letting you guys know, heads up, I have four days off this week, which I'm happy about because they had me work last week, Monday through Sunday. I just finished my last work day. Not my last work day. I'm still working, obviously. My last day from last week was yesterday till 8 o'clock. I didn't get done work till 8 o'clock last night. It's tired. They had me work Monday through Sunday. Sunday, so I couldn't film at all. You know, I, I could have, but I was just so tired and exhausted from all the long work days. Uh, they have me up. I like my mornings. Mornings are the best time for me when I work. And also, head back to school for all the kids and kiddos and everybody else out there. I know it's probably back to school for y'all. I think here, if back to school started today or starts tomorrow or Wednesday, it's one of the two. But I think colleges are, at least community colleges, start back. I was supposed to go to community college again, but I didn't this time. Or I couldn't make it this time because we're going to move. And my dad's like, oh no, just just go, just sign up for community college because I'm going to switch, I'm going to switch careers. But I'm here to talk about Alliance of America football, I'm just letting you know. I'm here to switch careers. And um, because the restaurant business ain't for me anymore. It's long, it's time, you work late hours, you work on weekends. And it's just not for me, and I just don't like it. You know, long hours and just sleeping over the hot kitchen. And it's just not for me. A lot of people like it, whatever. You know, they get paid some, depends on the, the company, they'll pay you quite decent money. But for me, okay. but for me, it's not me anymore. I thought I did culinary school, you know, I passed it along. Like, it's so good fun, but then when you get there, it's hustle, bustle, fast paced movement. And uh, and to me, before before I did that, I always loved being on computers and working on computers. So even in high school, I took I took a what's it called the how to like build a website class in high school. I passed. I think I didn't do so well, but I did I did decent. I think I forgot when I got like a C in that class. I don't remember when I got like a C or a D. It wasn't that best, but I was working on computers. I thought you know what, I want to do computers. If I want to do build websites, so that's why I go to school for that. But since I think community college start today. Plus, I might be moving out of San Diego, I know, right? 45 minutes away, I might move to Temecula. But anyways, I'm just mainly here, I don't do any work. So I have today off, which is Monday, I have tomorrow off. Then I work Thursday, then I work Wednesday and Thursday. Then I get Friday, Saturday off, and then I have to work Sunday again, 12 to 8. But not after that, I'm just home alone by myself, so I try to make videos as much as I can. Depends on what day they have me work. Just because my parents leave leave, I think it's Monday or Tuesday, I think it's Monday, no, I think it's Tuesday, it's Monday, I think it's, no, it's Tuesday, they're leaving to, to, to get, on their anniversary, they're going to a little bit of, um, Seattle, they've been to Seattle already, but they're going there for like a couple of days, and they're going up to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, because my mom was born and raised in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, if you guys want to know, my mom was born in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, so they're going to go there, and then they're going for like a week weekend like in a day so they go for like a week and they have like one more day and they come back I don't know I think they come back like Tuesday or Monday or two, one of the days but yeah so I'll try to get some videos out for you guys next week but this week I, I, I'll get videos out for you guys I uh, know Friday I'm going to the Hope is Here tour um it's a church big church tour where I think I'm worship worship bands are coming town so I got my ticket for that that's why I'm not going to work the day I asked, for I asked to take off the day so I got off that day, but yeah, I hope it's here tour. I'll be going to that at the 7, so before then, I'll make a video for you guys. So anyways, uh, yeah. Um, and what else? So let's talk about Alliance of American Football. Dun, dun, dun. That's what you guys are here for, right? Yeah, because I only talk to myself, but yeah. And, and I work mornings on Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday were 8 a.m. to 3 o'clock, so, yeah. Then Sunday, I worked, what I worked yesterday, 12 to 8, which I don't, do not like. They said, oh, good, because I, cause I have to switch my mornings, so I need to. Nights are just hard for me, and plus, plus for my rides, because you guys I don't drive. You guys know I don't drive, like I said before, I don't drive, so don't make fun of me. I'm 22 years old, I live with my parents, I don't drive, blah, 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 yeah, this isn't there. I used to take Uber and stuff, but at night, it's hard. My parents go to bed around 10, 30, so Sunday, they don't get up to 11. Almost 12 sometimes, so it's kind of crazy, but uh, it's true. So, so I, he's like, Well, you want to work 12 days? I'm like, Whatever. 
But I'd rather just have my mornings, you know, like, I always used to work 10 to 4, and those like, the best times, and it was, like, perfect, because I come home, and you have a quick bite to eat, because you don't eat at work sometimes, you have a quick bite to eat, right, and then you have a quick bite to eat, then I come home, when I come home, I get a quick bite to eat, then I go to the gym, and those are perfect, I come home, I go to the gym, blah, 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 you can have me work a full week, Monday through Sunday, if I can work the morning shifts, that's, that's all I ask for, you know. And so they're not obliging because next week I'm supposed to work nighttime, which I'm gonna have to switch out for mornings for those ones. My friends leave, and then my friends tell me you have to switch. Can you, if you can switch to mornings because it's easier and stuff. It's just easier, you know. And when a lot of people are quitting or fight or are just going to something else, so it's just like we need more people. But anyways, let's talk about Lions of American football. Breaking news of Alliance America for they signed another whopping 100 more new players. Because you guys know, preseason for the NFL started. This is already this is the end. Of week two ended last week. Week three is about to start. What Thursday? I think Thursday or Friday. I knew like four weeks of preseason. I think. I think it's this week and next week. It might be four or five weeks of preseason, but preseason is almost coming to a close. Then we have the regular season starting like in September, what, 14th, 12th, or something like that. So they're like really right around the corner. There's like three more weeks of preseason or two more weeks, one of the two. So right around the corner. And this time, you know, preseason happens, they cut players. And when they cut players, the, the AAF will start signing them. Or at least get a tryout because I think, I know, either this week or next week, uh, the Houston AF Houston Combine starts. You know, the Los Angeles Combine is already in the books. That was like what two three weeks ago. Then now then after that would be the Atlanta Combines. There's like two days in the Atlanta Combines and that's it. So preseason going on. That's when they cut the players down to what the 50 men roster, right? For the NFL, the 50 men roster. I don't know something like that. So even during the CFL, you know, CFL's is regular season. I see a lot of people getting traded to different teams in the CFL. A lot of people getting cut. And let's see when they see some big names that just got signed. I think I don't know if you guys know, but some big quarter I think like maybe two big quarterback names. That's it. I don't know. I think Trent Richardson did sign. He he was with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders with the with the Canadian Football League, but then he got hurt, so I think he never got a start in the Canadian Football League. To be honest, I don't think he was starting preseason in the Canadian Football League. Because we've got another Canadian Football League preseason in like two weeks, so this is one week. So each team gets a gets a game away, and each team gets a game at home, and that's it. Like the NFL has like you know like four, whatever, three four weeks of preseason. See, only has two weeks, one home, one away, and that's it. And then they start the regular season like a week after, so. So yeah, so people are still getting cut. So people are still getting traded. As a player, I forgot his name. He must be like a wide receiver or something for like Toronto. He got traded. I think this is one. So you gotta know one of the big names of Canadian Football League, Chris Carter. Yes, Chris Carter, his son. You know Chris Carter. I actually got his autograph last year at the NFL fan experience for during the Super Bowl weekend when I went to go with the family in Minnesota because in Minnesota. I got his I got his autograph at the uh, what's it called the Direct TV booth or whatever. He's signing autographs. I got one. But his son Duran Carter got cut was like two three weeks ago or two weeks ago from the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He plays two positions. He played cornerback and he plays wide receiver. He's great at both. So and he got cut and he, he you know he made his little speech. He's been always in the CFL. He, I think he never played in the NFL once, but he 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 played college in the United States, obviously. But he's always been. CFL since day one. He's been my Montreal Alouettes team for years. He's been to a bunch of teams for years. He's been switching teams. And we're hoping to sign, I guess, to sign him back to Montreal, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Uh, I think BC and Toronto are not going to sign him, you know, and I think Johnny Mizell got hurt, so we're like down to one quarterback at this point. And Johnny Mizell's I think, career is almost coming to a close. Maybe he can come to the AF. I think Saskatchewan is part of the San Antonio, San Antonio Lions pickup, I think. And because like for us, for San Diego's Alliance football team, it's, it's BC Lions. Like if you want to send a player, like a cut, it'll be from BC or any other like Southern California ish close college like USC, UCLA, blah blah blah. They can sign, you know. So and that, 
maybe, I think, if it's the schedule for the, I think I saw a rumor, maybe Jerron Carter will sign with San Antonio Alliance. But if he doesn't, I hope he can sign to San Diego. That'd be awesome. Jerron Carter is probably one of the best players. And it was well, probably one of the best players in the Canadian Football League. He won the Canadian Football League All-Stars for like two years straight, you know, for East and West. So, he's just a monster player. If you see him play cornerback or wide receiver, go check go check out his highlights from Montreal. Go check out his highlights from Saskatchewan and all the other teams he played for. Go, I think he, I think he might have played for Toronto last year, but go check out all his highlights. He, he's a beast. You know, Chris Carter's son could play some ball. He is a beast. Boy, why he got cut? I don't know why. I think he had some issues off of the field. I don't know. So I think it was like issues off the field or something. I don't know. There's something going on because people were just so shocked when he got cut. Like, why? How did he get cut? You know. So I yeah, hope he can sign with that alliance of um, alliance of any alliance team. But hoping he can come to San Diego because that guy I'll buy. If they have alliance jerseys for him, I'll buy them. <laughs> You know, I'll clear that rack. He's a beast. Anyways, uh, the two big quarterback signing names for the, for the new... They're saying they sent 100 more players. When I looked on the AFS, it's 205. So it's basically 105 new players. San Diego didn't get much. They may have got like a couple players, but they're all defense. No, really offense. I think the one they signed the first 100 players. We got a couple, uh, couple of offense, uh, more offensive. But for this 105 more... They signed basically just more defense. They think Mike Martin went more defense this time for our team. But anyways, two big, two big quarterback signings. Trevor Knight. If you don't know who Trevor Knight is, he was a quarterback for Texas A&M. I remember him watching him play with my UCLA Bruins. Played them. We got destroyed. And Blake Sims. You gotta know who Blake Sims is. The black black quarterback guy. I don't know if he's playing in the NFL or not, but he, he he's a quarterback for Alabama. Blake Sims. Those are the two big signings. And I think Blake Sims is signing with. I think it's San Antonio or Orlando, I don't know. I think Trevor Knight's with San Antonio. One of them. They're with one of them. But yeah, those are two big, I think, to me, that I know off that list. So the two big quarterback names. So Trevor Knight and Blake Sims. So that's it. So they signed 105. They're saying 100 players, but 105 new players. We're looking like 205 players been signed. Some more players to be signed, more players have been coming up. I know we need some more offensive and stuff because you know the NFL preseason is winding down. So that's when players get cut. That's when we sign. You know, CFL is releasing and cutting players and signing players. So whatever gets cut, then come down here. If I think they're not Canadian born citizens. So, anyways, international. Because the people that play in America that go to the Canadian Football League are international players. People that play college in Canada that play here or that play in Canada. Or Canadian born citizens. I think some maybe Canadian born citizens can come play down here, it depends. But if you're Canadian born citizen, you play in the CFL. So that's it. Those are some signing of the breaking news around here. Um, thank you all for watching. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. I know my Vikings lost was up by three points, two, three points. And a sold out game. It was definitely sold out for sure. Because um, yeah, I thought it was a home game, but I'm like, it's preseason. The whole scene was filled. You know, we're doing the skull champ, but we're just getting up there. I'm still hoping to go to the Rams Vikings game. We'll see. It's like September 18th or something. It's, it's like a Thursday night game. We're hoping. But my dad works and my work, and if we move, because we're probably moving before then, and I'll be closer to closer. If we move to the next we'll be like hat, almost not even an hour away. So we'll see. But hoping to go to that. I never saw Randy. My brother saw Eagles. My brother saw Eagles play twice. You know. Remember when the Eagles play like a couple times, I think twice or three times. So you saw them play in Philly, you saw them play in LA, so you saw them a couple times. I never saw my Vikings play once. You know, I've seen all my Angels baseball games live, but I've never seen Vikings games at all. So with, with the money I'm getting, I think I can afford a couple of tickets, especially when the LA Coliseum is getting redone now. It's looking pretty awesome. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and subscribe for more. Let me just think about the 100, 100, 105 new players signed. Go to the AF website. You can see the whole chart of the players signing. If you know any of the big names, I just told you some of them Trevor Knight and Blake Sims. Those are a couple that I know. You can go to the AF Instagram page or some of the players talking on the AF Instagram page. Tell them about them, what call they play for, and what they're going to bring to the team. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I do want to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later for some more AF news and some more XFL news. I'm hearing that XFL is supposed to announce some cities in September, and the AF is supposed to announce their team names in September. Those are some rumor news I heard, so we'll find out. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.